In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can write and optimize a 2000 plus word blog post using Closures Copy. Now, if you don't know, Closures Copy is an AI copywriter that allows you to write both short and long form copy. So you can write things such as Facebook ads, Google ads, product descriptions, email copy, website copy, and you can also write long form content such as blog posts, ebooks, articles, and other types of long form content. Closures Copy is a relatively new AI copywriter and it does offer some pretty unique features that's not really available on other AI copywriters and they also offer a very, very decent price. So you can get a starter plan for $29.99 per month and you would have access to the long form editor, the compete functions, and you would have 45,000 words per month for $30 per month. And if you want an unlimited plan, that's $79.99 per month for an unlimited plan and you can write both long and short form copy. So if you compare this to other AI copywriters in the market, this is a very good pricing. And they're also one of the few AI copywriters that offers a lifetime deal. So you can actually go ahead and pay one time and have unlimited access to Closures Copy and all of its features. And there's two types of lifetime deals. You have the professional lifetime deal, which is a one-time payment of $237. And then you have the unlimited lifetime deal, which is $367. If you're writing a lot of content using an AI copywriter, then a lifetime deal would be well worth it because it often works out to be cheaper and more cost effective. So it's safe to say that Closures Copy is a very good deal when it comes to pricing. But let's go ahead and actually use Closures Copy and see the quality of output that we can expect when using this AI copywriter. I'll leave a link in the description below in which you can get a monthly plan of Closures Copy or you can go ahead and grab the lifetime deal. In order to write and optimize a blog post using Closures Copy, we're going to be using the Compete and the Long Form functions. We'll also be using the frameworks and we may look at workflows as well. Just to make sure that we're getting relevant and high quality content, let's go ahead and use the framework. So we'll be using the blog title framework. In order to get a title, I'm going to describe the topic in which we'll be writing about, which is to how to start a business and make money as a beginner. These are the outputs that we got, how to start an online business as a beginner and make money, the beginner's guide to starting your own online business, how to start an online business as a beginner, five easy steps. So I like this title, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna paste this in here and make this an H1. And let's go ahead and get an intro paragraph for this blog post. So again, I'm gonna head over to the frameworks and search up intro. And here we have the blog intro framework. I've copied the title and pasted it into this framework. And I'm gonna add some more content just to give more context to the AI. And I'm going to click right for me. And these are the outputs that we got for the intro paragraph for our blog post. It starts by stating that you've decided to give the online world a try. It's a good idea. There are countless opportunities out there waiting to be tapped into. But if you want to make money online, you need to know which business to start first. So what is the right online business for you? What is your dream business, etc. And if we scroll down, we have some other outputs that are pretty good as well. But I do think that the first one is the best. So let's go ahead and add that intro paragraph onto our long form editor. Before we continue writing our blog post, it's important that we go ahead and do some research. We want to find out what are the top ranking blog posts for the keyword, how to start a business online or how to start a business as a beginner. And we want to take a look at those blogs to see how many words are being included in those blog posts, what titles and headings are in the blog post, what questions are being asked and what keywords or information are included in these blog posts. And instead of having to manually search up our keyword, and go through each one of the top ranking blog posts to gather this information, we can do all of the research right within Closures Copy. So you wanna head over to the compete function and we're going to paste the keyword in which we're writing about. So since we're writing about how to start an online business as a beginner, we're going to paste that keyword in this toolbar. 
whatever keyword that you're writing or researching, you'd wanna go ahead and put that right here. And then you just wanna go ahead and click search and Closures Copy will go ahead and gather all of the important information that you need to optimize your blog post. Once Closures Copy has pulled all of the information, this is what it would look like. So right on the left-hand side, we can see that this is the SERP overview. So this will show you what are the top ranking blogs for this specific keyword and what information they're including in their blog post. So for instance, the top ranking blog is torquemag.io and we can see the outline for their blog post and we can see how many words that were included in their blog post, how many paragraphs, how many sentences, but most importantly, we can see all of their headings. So we can see their H1 heading, we can see their titles, their headings, um, we can see the outline of their blog post, and we can see what information they've included in their blog post. And this information is important because if they're ranking number one on Google, this is an indication of the information that we have to include within our blog post if we wanna go ahead and compete with them. And again, if I scroll down, this would be the second ranking blog post for this keyword. And again, we'd be able to see the amount of words, paragraphs, and a breakdown of their outline for their blog post. And not only can you just see the outlines for the top ranking blog post, if you go ahead and click that subtopic, you'd actually be able to see the content that they've written um, for that heading. And you can go ahead and even rewrite that content right in this sort of toolbar right here. I wouldn't recommend just rewriting um, the topic because you wanna add some new and relevant information. But what you can do if we click this drop down menu, we can add this headline onto our blog topic. So if we see some very good headings or titles within the top ranking blog post, we can go ahead and we can add that within our blog post. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go through these top ranking blog posts and see whichever headings I like the best such as this one and just add them in to our blog post. Also included in the compete function is the ability to see questions. So you can see what are the most commonly answered questions in the top ranking blog post. And again, I can go ahead, take a look at any one of these and I can add that into my blog post. If I go ahead to the right hand side of questions, I can see facts and these would be some of the facts that are included in the top ranking blog post. So again, I can take a look at these facts and if I like any of them, I can add them in my blog post. If we head over to optimize, this will show you a number between zero and 100. Obviously the higher the number, the more optimized your content is. So it will actually compare your blog post to the top ranking blog post in terms of characters, words, paragraphs, sentences, images, and H1 tags. And if you head over to the keywords tab, you'd be able to see which keywords you need to include in your blog post and how many times you actually need to include that keyword. So it will again compare that to your current blog post and let you know if you need to increase the amount of times you include a certain keyword or decrease the number of times you include a certain keyword. So in order to properly optimize your content, you'd wanna go ahead and take a look at these recommendations when you're either creating your content or after you create your content. So what I usually like to do is, I like to make sure I have a framework of what I need to get done, and I head back over to the long form editor, and I actually create the content, and once the content is created, then I go ahead and do some more optimizations. So since I've pulled a couple of headings from the top ranking blog post, we have a decent outline that we can use, but I wanna go ahead and use the framework from Closures Copy and see what outline we get. So again, I'm going to go ahead and describe the content and hit write for me. So let's go ahead and paste the outline that we got from Closures Copy, and I'm going to combine it with the other outline that we got from the other top ranking blog post. In order to get content for the actual paragraphs for your blog post, there's a couple of ways in which you can go about doing so. The first is to head back to the long form section. And in the long form section, you update the context and you click write for me and the AI will start writing content based upon your subtopics. So let's go ahead and try this method first and see what sort of content we get. So these are the content that we got. So why should you start an online business? 
For instance, it could be that you have a unique talent or skill that you can monetize or that you want to work from home or just that you want to earn some extra money. And all three of these outputs are pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and try the second method. And the second method is by using the blog post workflow. And a workflow is just a predetermined template in which you can follow to help create content. When using any workflow, you can go ahead and if you wanna follow each one of the steps, you can do so. So for step one, if we were writing our whole blog post using this workflow, then we would start with the headline, then go to the hook, the introduction, the outline, and then the body paragraph. But because we're just trying to get content for the body paragraph, I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna copy our body paragraph, and then we're going to click right for me. So when we go ahead and use the second method of using the workflow, we get some pretty decent content. I especially like this um, third output, which talks about why you should start an online business. So there is something about running your own business that makes it all worthwhile. Whether you're working for yourself or a boss, you get to make your own decision and your own hours. You get to decide what to wear, when to eat, and how to spend your day. Running a business allows you to create something unique and different. So I actually think this is a really good paragraph and very relevant to the subtopic of why you should start an online business. So let's go ahead and let's start getting some content for the other topics within our blog post. If you're not getting the type of content that you are expecting from the AI, then I recommend going ahead and taking a look into frameworks. You can combine different frameworks um, to help you get some better content for your blog post. So again, what you can do is go through all of these different frameworks and find something that is most relevant to the section that you're writing within your blog post. So because we're writing about what type of online business to start, it would be useful to use a list style approach. So I've copied our subtopic and added a little bit of a description here. And let's go ahead and see what sort of content we get now from the AI. Okay, so this is the outputs that we got by using the listicle framework. The first one talks about selling stuff on eBay. And if we go through the output here, um, some of them are okay. Uh, again, not the best outputs that we're getting here from Closure's Copy, but we can definitely work with some of these. Now, I would like to have more outputs rather than just three. But in the meanwhile, this does help. We have web design, online selling and buying of goods, and an e-commerce store. So we're going to use the ultimate blog post workflow and try to get uh, some more content for this subtopic of what type of online business to start. So this is a good paragraph that we can include to sort of set up our paragraph on what type of online business you should start. So let's see if we can get some good content about how to begin affiliate marketing as a beginner. Okay, so I can see that we actually were able to get some pretty decent content here. So affiliate marketing is one of the best online businesses to start. And then it also talks about the pros and some of the cons of affiliate marketing. So I'm happy with this post. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the add button. And that's gonna be right there within our paragraph. Okay, so now we'll be talking about how to start a YouTube channel as a beginner. So I'm going to go ahead again and click right for me and let's see what sort of content we get. So again, just read through the content and whatever you like, just go ahead, make sure that your cursor is at the point in which you would like that content to be and click add. So this is some pretty decent content. Again, talks about what YouTube is and how any beginner can start a YouTube channel and start making money from a YouTube channel. So for online courses, again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just going to change YouTube channel here to online courses and click right for me. Okay, so now we're talking about online courses. Again, just go ahead and follow the same steps and you should have some pretty good content for how to begin an online course business as a beginner. So as you can see with Closure's Copy, it was kind of hard to start getting some subtopics um, when we were doing our research. But as we continue writing, I can see that the AI starts to write about other ways or methods in which you can make money online or start an online business. So this is good because we're getting more and more content that we can use. Okay, so we got some really, really good content there for online tutoring and for some of the other subtopics within this paragraph. I must admit that it was a little bit hard to get content and I would say a lot harder 
uh, compared to other AI copywriters. So just keep that in mind. If you're using Closure's copy, there is a little bit of a learning curve and you have to sort of figure out how to direct the AI in the right direction. And what I really like about Closure's copy is that you have all these different options when it comes to creating content. So even if you didn't want to use the ultimate blog post workflow, there's a bunch of other workflows that's created by the community that you can use to help you get content. My overall thoughts of Closer's copy is that it is a decent AI copywriter. I like the features that are included, such as the compete feature, the frameworks, and I also like the pricing because I think it's very reasonably priced per month. And even if you get the lifetime deal, it's a pretty good deal, but they definitely have to improve the quality of the AI content. Right now, the AI is just not up to par with some of the top AI copywriters in the market. And as I've used Closure's copy, I can see that the AI will give you some really good content on some specific topics, but not good content on other topics. And that may be because Closure's copy is still developing their own AI copywriter. So in the future, it could be better. But for now, I would have to say that they do have some major improvements to be made to the quality of the AI. If you enjoyed this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the near future. Until next time, stay well.